Hey YouTube, back with another video. Shout out to Doug. Shout out to Doug. Yeah. Sonny Hostin is out of her mind. Strike three, you're out. She, this is the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. You'll see it at the end of this video where we're going with this. They try to go after Tucker Carlson. They end up completely discrediting themselves. This is all about Tucker Carlson's interview with Putin, where he actually is a journalist. And these ladies, who are not journalists, they're barely entertainers, try to throw <laughs> shade out and it doesn't work. Welcome to Doug in Exile. I'm Doug Tenaple. This is where the happy patriots are. As we keep winning all the way with Trump to 2024 being the next president, where that's going to be the greatest The View episode of all, is the day after the Trump election. This is insane. <laughs> okay. Just, are you ready? Yeah, we're ready. The View takes hard left when Whoopi thinks of a great stripper name based on Tucker Carlson in video. This is gross, but stupid. Buckle up. Tucker Carlson gave a megaphone to one of America's biggest threats by posting his social media sit down with Russian President Vladimir Putin. And even Putin trashed the interview. <laughs> what kind of traitor would do such a thing? What kind of scuzz would give Putin a microphone? What kind of journalist would do that? She gonna continue? The embarrassment just keeps piling on higher. Don't worry. Now, Putin went on to say he wants President Biden to stay in power because Biden's more predictable. Whoopi, you and Putin agree that you're going to vote for Biden. I just want to go on the record. I would never vote for who Putin wants. And Whoopi does. So did Tucker play right into Putin's hands? Well... I'm going to change my name. I just thought of a great stripper name. What? <laughs> what? 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 That came from Putin? Yes. No, yes. it came from Tucker. Tucker Putin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is that funny? I missed it. Tucker Putin. I don't. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Tucker Putin. <laughs> <laughs> they, these, these ladies have writers. Millions of dollars they spend on writers. And that's the best they could come up with is uh, a stripper name of Tucker <laughs> Putin. I think a better stripper name would be uh, Sonny Hostin or Joy Behar. Look, I think I think obviously <laughs> Putin here is using reverse psychology, saying that he prefers Biden. We have all seen the relationship and uh, that he has with Donald Trump. We've all seen Donald Trump uh, falling all over himself for years and years, even before being president to kowtow to Putin and kind of get in his good graces. And I think that Putin, who's very smart and understands American psychology, sometimes I think better than Americans. Okay, now she's going into American psychology and what Putin really meant when he said that he was uh, for Biden. Notice she doesn't understand reverse psychology when Trump said he's going to be dictator for a day. And they all flip out on that. Imagine just for a second in your minds, if Putin said he preferred Trump. Just imagine if in the interview, instead of saying he preferred Biden or that he preferred Hillary, which we already know that too. What if Putin said he preferred Trump? What would this dingling be saying on The View right now? Would she be saying, oh no, it's reverse psychology. He really wants Biden, right? See how this works? When, uh, when the narrative goes against what these ladies want, they claim... He really means the opposite. It's reverse psychology. They just know it. Realizes that if he says he prefers Trump, it'll be used against Trump, who is the guy that he actually wants. I'm almost following this. It's dizzying. I also have a Chris Wallace quote. Chris Wallace, Wallace slammed him, calling him an eager puppy. He said, Tucker Carlson showed up in Moscow this week to interview Vladimir Putin. It turned out to be anything but an interview Putin. Putin drew, uh, droned on for two hours and seven minutes while Tucker sat there like an eager puppy. Yeah, easy for Chris Wallace to say, who does not have the cojones to go and interview Putin. By the way, journalists who interview Putin, often they can end up in jail. Tucker could have been disappeared. You know, these people fall out of windows all the time in Russia. Tucker, he may not I mean, he's brave for going over there and he ought to be terrified when he goes over and interviews Putin. So first of all, he did his job. 
like a real journalist. We're about to reference another real journalist, but first, Sonny's going to set it up right here. This is the big one, guys. The entire, it's just such a disgrace, I think, to our country that an American would give him any kind of platform to uh, propagandize. What kind of jerk would give Putin? It's so anti-American to give him any kind of a platform other than Barbara Walters, the creator of The View. Have any concern? that anthrax could be stolen. That's right, in 2001, she gave him a platform. So at the very least, Tucker Carlson is on equal ground to Barbara Walters, the creator of The View. Hello, I'm Baba Wawa, and welcome to Baba Wawa at Wide. Thank you for making my point, Sonny Hostin, for proving you're a complete hypocrite, that you ought to be fired or embarrassed out of your job to ever show your ridiculous giant mouth again. All these ladies that are throwing shade on Tucker Carlson, all many of our great journalists have gone over and interviewed Putin. I'm Doug in exile. Amen, 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 amen. <sighs> Hey bro, hey bro. I just want you to comment down below, you know, what you think and make sure subscribe, like and share, you know, so I can make more videos, make more videos. And yeah, see you guys next video.